So the last thing we're going to talk about in this episode is a story in health and wellness, and that this one's going to really rock your world. And this one is a scientific study, health and wellness. Chemotherapy causes cancer, science study finds, confirming Big Pharma's repeat business model for, ca for cancer patients. Are you, f are you kidding me? Yeah, and you know, people, this blows people's mind as well. And again, I forgive. I'm going to forgive. I'll do it for all of us. I forgive you, Big Pharma. I forgive you. You're just trying to make money. Half of you don't even know what you're, maybe more than half, don't even know what you're doing. Some people just turning a blind eye, which basically we all are, because we go on every day like, what are we going to do about it? And you know what? If I got cancer, I'd highly, I'll probably, I would go to a doctor. I'm not, you know, I would try some natural stuff as well. But uh, because they definitely don't tell you everything. And that's the bottom line. They don't even know everything. They, they're not even told to study everything. It's very simple if you want to control the world. You just control the people at the top. Very simple. So I'm going to go through this quickly. Thanks to scientific research at the Albert Einstein College of Medicine, we now know that chemo spreads cancer. Revealed the study, in this, and it was published in the journal, the Science Transitional Medicine Journal. Chemotherapy increases the number of cancer cells circulating in the body and in the lungs. Dr. George Karagianis of the Albert Einstein College of Medicine in New York. Okay, so um, that's horrifying, it goes on to say. Natural News. Dot com. That's where I got that. But it's a study published in medical journals. And quite frankly, this is big news. The reason why it's big news, it's because, of course, the money is in the treatment and not the cure. The money is in the treatment and not the cure, period. And money is bullshit. And I, you know what, though? It's bullshit, but I got to make money, too. I got a big, I got a lot of shit to pay for. And I have to make money as well. So it's not really, you know, it's not bullshit. I'm trying to get views. I'm trying to get things going because I need to sustain even this company. And so uh, what do we do as humans when we try to, um, try to, you know, make money but help people, but, you know, we have to walk this fine line all the time. And I'm going to tell you what I think about this. Because it is true that there is probably a business model that, you know, big pharma is, uh, they're aware that chemo is so expensive. It could be the GMOs causing cancer. I don't know. I think there could be studies on that. We have cell phones now. There are studies at quote unquote mainstream universities that say that cell phones could cause cancer. I have seen those. One in California specifically. I think another one. So what do we do with all this? What do we do in terms of, um, you know, it's, it's the same thing, man. We're yelling at ourselves. We're in a war with ourselves. And we were given a stacked deck. I just want to open your mind to this. Being in this body, being in a system, uh, uh, humans where people are fighting, coming into this world at this time, even the, the big pharma, that's the evil big pharma. I don't think they're evil. They just, that's what they think they got to do. Just like I do things I think I got to do, and then I adjust because I, maybe I don't know how to do anything else, or maybe my I was taught that this is bad, and people who talk about Qigong and, you know, energy medicine and uh, Dr. Royal Rife, they're crazy because my college said it was crazy, my professors didn't teach it, and okay, whatever, dude, nothing is crazy. Just look up multiverses by that Princeton professor that proved multiverses. There's probably every single version of everything that exists, including us, happening right now at the same time, and time is an illusion. Time is a fucking illusion. Time is a fucking illusion, dude. Einstein. Time is an illusion. So... The bottom line is that uh, I don't think anything is evil necessarily, but there are some things that certainly feel evil. Even when a girl 
tells me they're gonna call and they don't. It feels evil to me. I wanna cry my little eyes out like a little, like a little girl myself. I could be a little girl. Wah, wah. Don't you have that feeling sometime? Wah. But man, this, um, of course there's a business model to medicine. And there's a business model for this show trying to get truth out. Is everything we say, is everything necessarily true? No. But we're not, we don't even have a business. This isn't making money. I've, I've made a lot of money before. This is, this is, I'm trying to help the world. That's the proof. You, anybody want proof I'm trying to do something good? You should know our fucking numbers. We're not, we're not even trying to make money right now. We're going to sell some things and I hope to sell a lot. Millions of dollars of stuff. Please buy our stuff. Buy our stuff. Why? CNN, which has like 400,000 viewers and I think 6% of people trust the mainstream news, they run on billions of dollars a year and more power to them. But it's a big fucking shakedown. It's simply, you know, it's just, and it's fine, man. That's, that's big corporations. That's the way the world is. And I don't blame them at all. A lot of them, their, their job is to make money. That's what, they're, that's what they're doing. They're doing what they were hired to do, make money. So, um, yeah, chemotherapy causes cancer, science, scientific study finds. Pretty, pretty unreal, right? Pretty unreal. But I think we can forgive those people and try to learn to love the things we think we should hate. That's what I could say. Learn, if we could, learn to love the things we think we should hate. Man, that is tough. That is tough. How do you do that? Anybody watching this video, because there are, we have a following now. It's small, but growing, and it's going to grow a lot bigger. How can, how can you do that? How can I do that? Because it's not just the big things. I'm talking about if there's pedophile rings running the world, but you know what? There could be. That's hard enough. I could sit there and think to myself, I want to forgive them. I want to forgive them. But when I have somebody just lie to me in real life, it's, that's what I'm talking about. I had that happen today. I had that happen today. Girl told me she wanted to meet, disappeared, no reason. She said she liked me. I don't know. People do weird shit every day. To me, it's weird. You know, maybe something happened. I, I can get better at, you know, calming down, basically allowing for humanity to occur. I, I'm human as well. Um, but I don't think so. A lot of times people are just assholes, if you want to know the truth. And you know what? We all have been assholes. Let's be honest. So please forgive me. Please forgive Big Pharma. Uh, let's... Uh, Let's start spreading more what, we, what could be true and integrating these, these uh, so-called evil people, uh, evil big pharma, evil government, evil Trump, evil Republicans, evil Democrats. You know what? Say, listen, you've got a lot of good ideas. Because let me tell you, just like I said, if I had cancer, I'd go see a fucking doctor. I'd also see other people, and I'd read a lot, and I'd go to cancertutor.com. I've seen different websites over the years where I've tried to help people that had cancer with other ideas because that's not evil. The only reason another idea would be evil is because somebody's trying to control somebody else. Otherwise, there's nothing to fear. There are no crazy ideas. There's some that we decide are not good, you know, because we're trying to, you know, we're, made, we're doing the best we can. And we, by the way, we've been very stupid when we do that. We've decided that a black man is worth three-fifths of a human being and all kinds of dumb shit. So, you know, we evolve with our with deciding what the best thing is or what, what the, uh, the right ideas are, right? We evolve. And hopefully we can harmonize these things by saying that I understand you. I understand your perspective. I understand you, Donald Trump. You're fighting a, the whole world because Donald Trump is fighting big business. I understand you, Barack Obama. Maybe you were a part of a bigger system that you couldn't control. Maybe, maybe some people, maybe there is an Illuminati and the Bilderbergers, right? 
And maybe there is some weird religion that people think, uh, what are they doing in Bohemian Grove? What are those people doing out there? Worshiping an owl god, right? Some, something? Who knows, man? People do a lot of weird shit. That's for damn sure. But let's forgive them and try to say, listen, I understand, because I'm a human, and I've done weird things as well. And so you start with just understanding their perspective and trying to heal them. And you know what? They need to heal how they can heal. Um, it's just like this. Like, if you find a lion and the lion needs to heal, you don't necessarily just stick your hand in the... Uh, stick your hand in the cage while it's healing, but you can help it. You can heal it in its own way and hopefully prevent it from hurting itself and others. And that can be challenging because we all have different definitions of what that is. Some could say that, you know, uh, that's a tough one because people think that uh, they have different definitions of what hurting is and what is good or bad. You know, it's very strange what we're up to here. But the, the goal is to understand forgive, and then even I think what I need to work on are day-to-day -day life, forgiving things that are the small things. And, you know, I have let a lot of things, I'm going to give myself some credit because honestly, I should, and you should too. You should give yourself credit. Part of the thing we do on Believe here is we help people succeed. So give yourself some credit and um, in terms of like, the little things you accomplish. Give yourself credit. I've let a lot of things go, and I've gotten so much nicer, actually, in the past year or two. It's honestly, I'm like a different person. <laughs> honestly. And if I told you why, you would think it was crazy. I've already done episodes on it. I don't know how many people saw it, 200. It's not that I'm amazing, but people should, uh, millions of people should be seeing this show. Millions of fucking people. You want to change the world? Help me get millions of people watching our show. And I'll have you on the show. I'll make it about you. I'll stand over there. You can host this fucking show. Get millions of people watching this because we just need other ideas. We need to forgive each other. All of you. I love all of you. Wake up. I love you. Democrats, Republicans, people who don't care, people smoking weed. Homeless people, I love all colors. I love the races. I love the beings we can't see that could be fucking us over. I love the people that don't give a shit about what I'm saying. I don't care. I love you all, man. That's it. And I understand because I've felt the same way. We, I've had such a range of emotions. And you want to know something? Getting back to what I've said in this episode, we were probably, we were given a stacked deck. We were designed to have this range of emotion. We were designed, it's, it, you know, you were designed to freak the fuck out and do dumb things and lie sometimes and do weird shit and bicker with other people and get in race wars and everything. But so let's just become aware of that. Once we become aware, the harmony begins. It starts with awareness. So, Believe.love, share our links, www.believe.love, believeitunes.com, subscribe to iTunes, believeandroid.com. We're in a war with ourselves, not Kim Jong-un or fucking Trump or whatever. I love, I love, I love both of them. I love Obama. I love, I love all of them. Trump, Kim Jong-un, I love you. I love you. I do, man. And, you know, I don't love everything everybody does. I don't even love everything I do. Do you love everything you do? No. We've all done dumb shit. That's all right, man. Spread these links. Let's comment. Get into a discussion. We're going to have live shows. We're going to come with guests that are kick-ass fucking guests on this show, man. We're going to have kick-ass fucking guests. This is the first show I've ever dropped the F-bomb, but I, I just let it go, man. Tossing the papers up. Thank you for joining me on Believe. Get involved. We're going to have live callers. We're going to grow. We're going to get millions of fucking visitors. You're going to change the world. <laughs> You're going to change the world. Thank you for joining me. I'm Nicholas Upchurch. Take care. Have a good night or day, wherever you may be.